Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through January 31st. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? January 25th through the 31st. One card, please. The sun card. The sun card is bliss, extreme happiness, very positive energy. This is free. This is a yes answer. This is uh, being accepted, great health, healing. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a happy new beginning. It's extreme happiness, glowing. Okay? So it's a being in a warm place. Uh, it's very positive, life-giving energy. So it starts out very positive. That's for sure. It's a very positive uh beautiful energy so that's great happiness being in a happy place what do we have for Aries dog barking Advice from a friend. I don't know why it's not zooming. There we go. So you're going to be receiving advice from a friend. Coins. Money will be coming to you. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Hills. Obstacles to overcome. So you have some obstacles that need to be overcome, but someone new is entering your life. That's going to make you extremely happy. Money is coming to you. I mean, <laughs> and you're going to be receiving advice from a friend. Maybe it's a new friend. Maybe it's a new friend that's going to be entering your life. Maybe they got money. I don't know. Um, but there's an obstacle that's going to be ha have to be overcome. And there's, a, there's always an obstacle, so you're probably used to that. But anyway, this is extreme happiness, so that's fantastic. What do we have for Aries? vibrating at a very high level this week as well when I just looked at that Sun card I feel like you're gonna you're, you're gonna be vibrating at a very high level page of swords so this is a very curious energy the person that's entering your life I'm not sure they may be a little bit younger than you or you may there could be a little bit of it you may be younger than them could be a Leo could be a, a Libra Gemini Aquarius but the page of swords is a very curious energetic energy it's also um, somebody that is very very talkative so I'm wondering if somebody and it could be somebody that is younger than you that is entering your life I think I might have already said that but there's gonna be some sort of you're gonna be receiving a message from somebody it may make you feel conflicted it may make you feel conflicted you may not be so sure about this message when you receive it um, Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords is moving to a better place. It's a time of transition. Things are going to get better for you. If you've been struggling, things are going to get better. You're going, you're headed towards a better place. Ooh, World Reverse. So that's, hmm, and Ten of Wands Reverse. Now, that's letting go of a burden, letting go of baggage, dropping weight, finding balance but the world card reverse is lack of completion uh unfinished business i wonder if you have some unfinished business with somebody um something isn't over yet you could be caught off guard by somebody you could be caught off guard with that page of source somebody could be coming back around doesn't have to be a lover it could be a friend it could be a family member you could be caught off guard you maybe you're in a really happy place you don't see it coming i don't know where that's coming from but i feel like that could be the case um and, it, and maybe this is somebody you don't even know and i mean i say unfinished business could be somebody from a past life i'm just saying i mean i don't know where this is coming from but i do feel like um you know, the Ten of Wands is, is on the road to balance. And this is on the road to balance as well. And this is balance is waiting. Things are going to get better. If your weight, if you've been trying to lose weight, maybe you're going to lose some weight this week. You're dropping some sort of weight or burden or baggage. But 
that has been holding you down. Now this world card reverse, that's a problem. So this is laziness, it's lacking goals, lack of will, frustration, refusing to explore new avenues. Maybe in the past you were, but I feel like you're going to be exploring new avenues this week. Okay, I feel like, I feel like uh, there's been a lack of success and something has been weighing you down. You, maybe you're get, taking a new approach this week. You're taking a new approach and it's changing your outlook. I feel like your whole mindset is changing in a positive manner this week. It's a time of transition. You've been lacking success, holding on to something, carrying something, you know, maybe or maybe, maybe it's even responsibilities. This is letting go of responsibilities, just being happy, being free. You're able to be yourself. This is a week of big, I feel like it's big change. And I don't, and, and we don't have a lot of cards for that, but I just feel like it is. You're going to be overcoming an obstacle of some sort. You are. It feels like you're going to be taking initiative. I feel like you're pissed off. It's like, I'm sick of it. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to not be successful. I'm not going to carry this baggage. I'm not going to carry this responsibility. I'm not going to carry this weight. I'm going to do it. You know, it's like you're, you're, you're just ready. That's what it feels like to me. Um, yeah. Strength. Strength, strength is uh, courage, confidence, willpower, determination. So this is a week where you find that determination. You find that willpower. Maybe you were lacking, and I feel like you were. I think you were lacking it for some reason. You know, maybe it was because another person. I don't know. Or you just had too much on your plate. But now it's like you're you're coming. You're focusing. You're focusing. You're finding that that. Uh, strength, right? You're finding that strength. You're mastering your emotions. You're finding the discipline that you were lacking in some situation. This is a week of really glowing as well with the strength card and the um, sun card. You are really, really going to be you're going to be feeling good. Your health is going to be, you're going to be focusing on your health, I believe, this week. I think that you're, you're going to be, you know, um, feeling stronger you know you're 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 just going to be glowing as well you're gonna be looking really 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 good um ah queen of pentacles now here's the money so i wonder if somebody's going to be giving you money or they're going to be giving you something you could be giving a gift you could be given a gift or you could be getting an opportunity that pays you more money I do think that you are going to be getting something because we have money up here too somewhere. Yeah, money will be coming to you. You're going to be either getting a position or you're going to be getting a gift. Some sort of money is definite. This is the beginning of it though. I feel like you're going to be giving given a golden opportunity. You probably manifested it. You probably did not see it coming. This opportunity is going to open up some sort of door for you. It. It's very interesting. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also said Leo, but we have Leo here a couple times. And uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But if you've been overwhelmed, you're gonna be, you can relax. You can relax now because things are about to get better. Breaking free from something. I think that you've been tied to a toxic situation, an unhealthy situation. And I think things got to a, into, maybe you got into a deep, dark place. There could have been an addiction here that got out of control. But now you're taking control. Or it could just be an obsession. You know, somebody may have been obsessed with another person. Or, or it was an addiction. Could be food. Could be money. Could be gambling. Could be whatever. But I feel like this is, this is uh, breaking free from something that is toxic and unhealthy. Letting it go. Uh, regaining your strength, regaining your determination. You're in control now. It's like you're in control. You're taking back your power this week. And you're being very, very um, practical. You're being realistic. You're uh, receiving an opportunity from somebody that is going to lead you down a path towards... Uh, well, it's like freedom because the Ten of Wands reverse. It's free from this restriction, whatever it is. It's like, I, I, for some of you, it's dropping weight. You know, it's dropping weight or dropping responsibilities. You may be, some of you could be getting a new job, you know, where there's a less responsibilities. You may have been in a situation where there was just stagnation, you know, or where there was a delay or th things had been delayed or you were just weighed down by something that wasn't successful. Now, now you're gaining some sort of new perspective. It is. I feel like you're you're definitely taking control. You're no longer under somebody else's control, which I think that you 
I'm saying that because of this, because I think that you were, you know, whether, I mean, and it could have been in your head. It could have been in your head. It could have been in your own thoughts. It's definitely a week of transition, you know, where you're getting to a better place mentally. Okay. Um, and you're taking charge and you're investigating new approaches. And I think that because you're doing that, you know, you're going to be breaking free from something that is unhealthy that has been holding you down. So this is a breakthrough week for you where you, it's like you just take back your power from something. And there is somebody new coming into your life. This person may be the one that is uh, giving you an opportunity. You know, this is somebody that is very experienced, an older person. This person is going to be um, giving you an opportunity that's going to lead you down this path. And I see you taking the opportunity. It's not going to be easy by any means. It's not. It's going to be a challenge. It is to break free from whatever this is. It's going to take a lot of hard work. You're going to have to work really, really hard to overcome this challenge. It is going to be a challenge to get back to this health that or this healthy person that you want to be or that you used to be. So yeah, I feel like you are definitely breaking free from a toxic situation and you're going to be glowing this week. You're in control. You're you're this is a new mindset. So and it all starts, and I think it's a, from, maybe you get this advice from a friend or there's somebody coming that is very practical, very uh, nurturing, very devoted. This person is, is going to help you. So somebody is coming to help you in some way. Good luck.